Catherine, how are Hi, you? Molly. I'm great. How are you? I'm good too. Um, I'm glad to see you because when we're at work, we always get to kind of sit right next to each other and talk about all the cool things that we're noticing around Gilsland Farm. And now that we're at home, we, we really can't do that. So I thought it'd be cool if we found some time to talk about what we're noticing from where we are right now in nature. Um, so where are you? Yeah, I'm right now in my apartment in Portland. So I'm up on the third floor, actually. I'm sitting at my dining room table, which is in front of three big windows here on my street. So it's a really urban and residential area in my neighborhood. Um, a lot of old apartment buildings, some trees, not tons of grass, but it's a really nice sunny spot here that I can see a lot happen outside. How about you? Very cool. Um, I'm also at my dining room table. I live in Westbrook in my house. and. One of the reasons we bought this house is because it has these big windows that look right out over the Stradwater River. So our yard is really tiny, but we get to see a lot of nature from where we are. And we put up a bird feeder, so I've been watching birds come in and out. And uh, you never know what we're going to see. Um, so while you're at your table, do you have any tools or rituals that you like to kind of keep in mind when you're nature watching at home? Um, I do, yeah. I think. Kind of the idea or ritual of having a sit spot, a place that you spend a lot of time at and observe change over time is a ritual that kind of this area has become for me. I spend a lot of time in the same spot looking out and noticing things that change, how the light changes, weather that comes through, things like that. Um, I also use field guides sometimes here. Um, I have several field guides on my bookshelf behind me that I sometimes grab and I would say a nature journal is another tool that I, that I try to use things. What about you? Any tools or rituals you use? Yeah, um, this is kind of my sit spot too, I guess. When we're, whenever we're eating, I make sure that I'm keep, keeping an eye on what's happening out here. Sometimes I, I play this game where if I can manage to sit down for a full cup of coffee with breakfast. I try to see how many bird species I, I can count before I'm done. Um, and I usually have my binoculars close by. Sometimes Callum, my, my three-year-old, walks away with them, but they're usually handy. We keep some field guides too. And then uh, we have used the Naturalist Notebook, that five-year calendar journal from Nat Wheelwright. So we always kind of try to keep that filled in too. Cool. Um, so as you've been watching, have you noticed any changes or signs of spring lately? You know, I've been looking for changes on our trees on my street and in my neighborhood on these walks that I go on every day. Um, so I haven't seen any changes to buds much in town here yet. I've been keeping an eye out for that though. The ground is still really muddy, so not quite grass growing. This is in between early spring stage. But I will say I noticed um, two cardinals yesterday singing really loudly to each other on a walk, and that was a nice springtime reminder. Nice. How about you? What kind of changes have you noticed out your windows lately? Yeah, um, I've heard cardinals too. They've been waking me up sometimes in the mornings. Uh, definitely with the bird feeder, we've been seeing a lot more activity, um, hearing some new birds. I've had a Car Carolina wren singing and coming to the feeder. The goldfinches this morning, we, we noticed we're getting really yellow, which is always a sign of spring that I look for. Um, the chipmunks are back. We saw a woodchuck last week, the first time I'd seen it this spring. Lives under my neighbor's shed. <laughs> and um, yeah, also not much growing. We've got a lot of mud. And when I walk around the neighborhood, I've seen some buds and some crocuses, but my side of the street is the colder side, so oh. not yet. Cool. What about, has anything surprised you lately? Earlier this week, we had um, a big spring thunderstorm, and it was kind of the first thunderstorm we've had since probably the beginning of last fall. It feels like a long time ago because it's not such a winter thing, so that was kind of surprising to me. I really liked seeing the lightning. Any mm -hmm. surprises for you? Yeah, I had a new mammal, which I feel like doesn't happen that often. So last week I looked out under the feeder and the ground was moving a little bit. And I watched and a little mole poked its nose out and grabbed a seed and ran back. And it did it a, a couple times too. So I grabbed the binoculars and, and watched it. So yeah, that was new. That's really cool. Not what you expect under your bird feeder, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> well, it was great hearing what you've been seeing at home. And I hope we get to check in again like this. Mm -hmm. For folks who might have been watching along, I hope other people have ways to share um, things that they've been seeing either in the comments here or to somebody else that they're catching up with on screen soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone. Bye. <laughs>